absolutely perfect. Aileron's beautiful, nice and smooth. Pitch is firm but not heavy. Uh, not over sensitive, not under sensitive. Rudder is beautiful. I like it. It's very powerful, nice and powerful rudder. Um, <clears throat> you need to push quite hard to get the tail up. But as soon as it's up and you start speeding up, it goes completely to neutral and it flies hands off. Stall with the stuff in the back was exactly the same. There was no difference whatsoever. In the cruise, I had to trim it a little bit further forward yes. to, to get straight and level. It kept climbing. Mm. I had to trim probably three quarter way forward. But other than that... You haven't run out of trim yet? No. Okay. No. Uh, but as I say, the trim is only in the cruise that I needed to go forward for the climb. It was exactly where it was without the weight in the back. Okay. <laughs> so that didn't change at all, which is quite surprising actually. I thought it would have changed. Mm. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Cruise between 100 and 105 with full power, 5250 RPM. Stall clean, 30 mile an hour indicated. Obviously there might, will be a position area with error, we'd have to check that out and uh, with two notches of flap 20 mile an hour. Interestingly enough, when I did the three-pointer landing, I was watching the airspeed indicator. It goes to zero before it actually touches down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's an indication. It's, an indication, it's, yeah. not a, it's not a true speed, but fully handleable at those speeds. It's really handling nice. Um, I tried the touch and goes at various flap settings. Absolutely. Even with no flaps, you approach at 55. Uh, and then with flaps between 40 and 45. And aileron response at low speed with flap on? Perfect. Perfect. No problem.